So I'm now uh, logged into APIC controller and on APIC controller we have multiple tenants to work with but I'm going to use pod 21 tenant so I'll just click on tenant type pod 21 so on the pod uh, 21 we have uh, application profiles already created so we have uh, EPG app and EPG DB already created so between app and DB I'm going to create a contract and under contract I will add a service graph to forward a traffic towards VFTD HA pair so in order to do that I'll first go to L4 to L7 device services I will click on L7 to L4 devices I will right click and click on add since this there is no device package available for VFTD at the moment or FTD at the moment I'm going to use unmanaged I'll name it as port 21 dash VFTD dash F over I'll change it to virtual service type is other VMM domain since there is an integration between vCenter and Epic already so I'm going to use that same VMM domain HA cluster routed mode or go to mode and here I need to select VM which I have created for VFTD so I'm going to use port 21 VFTD 1 for device 1 and port 21 VFTD 2 for device 2 now I need to add interfaces as well so I would be adding app interface or the outside interface I'm going to use network adapter 2 because network adapter 1 is used for management DB is inside interface network adapter 3 similarly for device 2 as well app network adapter 2 DB network adapter 3 in cluster I will add interfaces from primary and the secondary device both so I'll go type app app interface of device 1 and app interface of device 2 update now DB device 1 DB and device 2 DB update now I'll go ahead and click finish so this L, L4 to L7 device is already added now so next step is to put this device or create a service graph template so I'll go ahead and right click on this and click on create a service graph template so I'll name it as uh, pod 21 dash VFTD dash F over I'll create a new one this is my VFTD service graph so I will just drag it here mention it as VFTD and I will click on submit so this VFTD graph is also created now next step is to apply this graph so I will right click on it and click on apply so my external network is port 21 app and it traffic is going to port 21 DB I'm going to create a new contract and I will name it as app to DB and I will select no filter allow all I will just click on next and now I'm creating a service graph I'm saying here uh, my consumer interface or outside interface is app interface 
and my pro provider interface is DB interface. I will click on finish. And once uh, I'm done, I will just go ahead and click on submit to save changes. So now this device is getting deployed between app and DB EPGs. So in the meantime, what I will do is I will just log into the uh, application server as well as database server. Here is a program that I can use, Super Putty. I will just double click on it. So after adding this configuration, what happened in the background is if I go back to my vCenter, I'll show you what happened. So if I right click on my VFTD and if I go to edit, these two port profiles or uh, port groups are automatically pushed from vCenter, from APIC controller. So I have uh, app, port group assigned to network adapter 2, DB assigned to network adapter 3. Similarly, it happened with secondary device as well. So I'll just go ahead and verify it. Right, so same thing has happened here as well. So I'll just go to uh, my device. Let me do if config here. So IP address is 10.1.0.102. Let me see if I can ping my VFTD. Active IP address 10.0.1. Yes, I can ping it. Let me see if I can ping DB server. Let me see if I can go here if config. ping 10.0.0.1 is the DB interface. I can ping that as well. Let me see if I can ping through the box. So through the box is 10.2.0.103. Uh, this IP address is assigned on DB server, so I'm going to initiate ping from app server. Let me see if it is pingable. Yes, it is. I'll ping other way around as well. 10.0.10.1.0.102 yes it is also pingable so both direction I can ping so I'll go to policies again and under policy I will edit this policy I will open ICMP is allowed in line one. So I'm going to drop this ICMP traffic by adding another rule, block. I will name it as rule zero. And I'll go to port. I'll type ICMP. All. I'll go to logging. Log this event. And I will add this rule before rule one so I'll, I'm just placing it at line one okay so if I go back to putty here I can see that ping is still happening in both directions so I'm going to push this rule I'll first click on save And once this in this configuration is saved, oh, I need to move this rule up as well. So I it is accidentally added at the bottom. So I'll just move it up. I'll uh, make it at line one. Save it again, and then I'll go ahead and deploy this rule.
configuration is now getting deployed. The moment this configuration is successfully deployed, I sh we should see this these pings going down, and we'll see event in here. Let me go ahead and see again. Analysis connection events. Yes, now uh, since configuration is deployed, I can see uh, that source 202 uh, is blocked on ICMP from both sides, from inside to outside and from outside to inside. So let me, um, let me review what we have done. So we started with installation of FMC. Then we installed uh, two FTDs, virtual FTDs, added both FTDs and FMC, configured HA pair. After configuring HA pair, we configured uh, app and DB zones, mapped a gig zero interface with uh, with app zone and gig zero one interface with DB zone. Then we went in created uh, policies. Under policies, we allowed ICMP, HTTP, Telnet, SSH, UDP, ICMP. And then at the bottom of the rule, we have denied everything. And then I went into APIC controller. In APIC controller, I added a device, L4 to L7 device, and added VFTD HA pair. And then I went into service graph template, created a service graph template. And after creating a service graph template, I applied it between app and DB. So there was no configuration done from APIC controller. Configuration handling was done at the F FMC level. But the moment I create I applied that contract in APIC controller, APIC controller went ahead and uh, stitched uh, VFTD HA pair in line in, in the traffic path. And then at, and then we tested ping from app to DB and DB to app. And uh, we noticed that pings, are w pings were working. And then we added another rule at line number one for denying ICMP traffic. The moment that configuration uh, is pushed to a chip here, we notice these logs here. So we can see that traffic is getting denied now. So that's it for this particular video. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.